Hey guys, it's Neil here from Tax TV. A uh, bit of transfer rumours, uh, news, uh, what's been coming out of the last couple of days, really. Um, as you know, uh, starting off with Herbie Kane, uh, three days before the actual transfer window opens to three days before January. Uh, Oxford United have been in contact with Barnsley, uh, signed the relevant paperwork and paid whatever fee. It is to keep him on loan until the end of their season uh, for League One. Possibly could it be a, a you know a move that is suited for Herbie? Uh, I don't know, but uh, they're currently pushing for playoffs in League One. So I personally would have liked for him to come back, you know, given our situation. But the same respect, you know, Herbie is enjoying life at minute to Oxford and it's uh, all going well for him. Got uh, player at month, I believe. So, you know, it's a win-win situation for, for Oxford, but, you know, it is what it is with regards our situation is in midfield. Would he, you know, I'm just surmising, but would he be interested in going there permanently? I know if they do come up, would he be interested or would he want to come back to Barnsley or would Oxford pay a fee for him? You know, if he's, if Carl Robinson, their manager's like, liking what he's doing down there, possibly. But it is what it is. We can't uh, do it with that. He's been on loan there. So that's that's one of the players what's not, go not going to be returning back to us in January, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but let me move on. Another player what's uh, been doing rounds a bit, um, not so much in papers, but on social media, is a striker and a, a, an attacker. Forgive me if I don't pronounce it properly, uh, but it's Euros de Genovic. He's a Montenegro international uh, striker. Currently playing for Sporting Gijon. Uh, 17 appearances, six goals. Apparently, he's been offered to clubs, and we're one at clubs. He's been offered to, offered to clubs for the upcoming transfer window in January. Uh, Sporting have been putting feelers out for any clubs in England that's interested in him. He's 27 years old, an international striker. Would he be, you know, a player that could do a job for Barnsley? Possibly, you know, 17 appearances, six goals. Playing at league in Montenegro International at 27 year old, so he's not a million miles old. But then again, it <laughs> it comes to where do we want to go? Uh, would he walk straight into our team at minute? I mean, look at uh, Dal DK when he came on loan. But uh, this transfer for Euros is not a loan. Sporting are actually offering out print feelers out for by his agent to clubs in England the availability of their player. And we are believed to be one of the clubs what's been offered. What the fee is, I don't know. But to be offered a player of that kind of quality, Montenegro International, 27, so he's in his peak, he's coming into his prime. Uh, and to be scoring goals, I think we all can agree it's a, it's a position that we're all wanting to see it to improve would players have to go to make way for him again that's out of my control I don't know but at this moment in time we need strengthening and that would be a player that don't really know much about him but having done a bit of research on him uh, seems a seems a, a player of interest whether it's his agent you know going to different clubs and that I don't know but it's it's for a permanent transfer in January, not a loan or anything like that that we'll be willing to offer. So whether we're having money, you know, just get clear books and that, I don't know. But a player that, you know, for me personally, I'd, I'd do a job, uh, probably put a bit of life back into the team, get a bit of confidence into the team, fresh impetus, because I think that's what we're all needing. They're my only two players 
I know there's been a, a loose rumours linking Callum Styles to Notts Forest, but I'm not, not reading much into that at the minute. I think it's just paper talk. Uh, been linking him with, you know, going back to uh, going to Notts Forest to link up under Dave Murphy, who used to be our CEO. But I'm not reading too much into that at the minute. Uh, just loose talk, but but for these two, what's obviously maybe we all know about with Oxford, but you were us, Djenovic or Djakovic, I don't know how you want to pronounce it, but the Montenegro International Sporting Gihon. If you look at that, um, and you'll be able to probably see a lot more better stats about what you what you want. Just before I go, guys, I appreciate everybody for watching. Please leave, like, leave your likes, comments and shares and everything. Uh, means a lot. Helps me, helps the channel. Also, just before I go off of this, um, it's just been just literally just been announced that the Stoke City game that was cancelled on Boxing Day has been rearranged for Wednesday the 12th of January. Uh, quarter to eight kickoff. Uh, so that's Wednesday 12th of January. Quarter to eight kickoff as rearranged fixture with Stoke City. I'll be well, I'm going to get some more content out before New Year. But if I don't and you're unable to see anything like that, I just want to wish everybody a very happy New Year. Keep safe, hope you enjoy yourselves wherever you're watching, uh, with your family and everything like that. All hoping that 2022 is going to be a lot better. You know, uh, strange things have happened, but we live in hope, I suppose. Uh, both on and off at pitch, with all this stuff that's going about, with COVID and everything like that. So no matter where you're watching, uh, please stay safe. Uh, enjoy your celebrations and hope to see you soon. You Reds. <laughs>